All right. Thank you, everybody who is here. It looks like we still have some more people joining the room. Thank you guys for attending, taking time out of your busy schedule. This will not be a wasted moment for you. We are going to talk about how to start a successful sports business in the fight game. And that's usually as a promoter, a manager, or a matchmaker. And we're going to talk about all the different options and um, how anybody can get into this sport. That's what makes it so exciting. It's so accessible. Um, so we're going to jump right into it. How would you guys like to start a successful sports business in this, in this industry? And the fight game generates hundreds of millions of dollars a year, guys. And that's not just MMA and boxing. That's other combat sports as well. But MMA and boxing are obviously the two biggest. And they generate millions. And I'm not just talking the big pay-per-views that you, I, and everybody buys um, UFC 250 or, or Pacquiao Mayweather or whatever. Of course, that's the, the tip of the iceberg. But there is such a vast feeder system and farm system, as you will, that feeds these large promotions. These guys don't just have their pro debuts in front of millions of people. They all start somewhere. And the way they do that is at local grassroots events. And that is what we're going to talk about is that's where a good launching place for you in your career. Now, obviously, we're also going to talk about if you want to be a manager, you could be working and rubbing elbows with Bellator, UFC, big promoters if you have the right fighter with the right kind of talent. And um, and we have experience in that avenue. And we'll talk about that. But uh, there's just opportunity everywhere in the fight game. It's not just at the top, top levels. And that's my point here. Um, and we're going to teach you how to start a business in that niche and be able to make a good income for yourself in your city or town. Um, and uh, there's just a lot of opportunity. And like I said, you don't have to be Dana White or Bob Arum to make money in this business. You just don't. Uh, these guys had large backings when they started. I think uh, Bob Arum's first promotion was with Muhammad Ali, and Dana White, you know, had jumped into an already established brand. So, uh, and we're talking about you don't need those kinds of millions to make a living. You can start your own promotional company in your local city and put on big, exciting events that generate significant income. Um, I had my, my first card was in the Philadelphia region, and we generated six figures in our first year. In our first year doing shows, we generated six figures. And it's, it's, you can do this all over the country, San Diego. Of course, there are hotbeds already that exist. There's LA is extremely big, obviously. Um, Philadelphia, New York, uh, Chicago, these are fight cities. And you don't have, you can put on shows very easily in those cities, obviously, but you can also do the same thing in smaller towns. And we're just gonna talk, we're gonna teach you all about how to do that. Um, and then again, like I said, there's huge opportunities to start your own agency as like a manager or a matchmaker. Let's say you don't want to be a promoter. You don't want to put on those shows. Of course, the financial windfall can be high, but um, it's also a different skill set. So maybe you're more interested in managing fighters uh, as a sports agent, like Jerry Maguire style. Um, or maybe you're interested in working with the promoters and helping them put on these fights and matching up fighters, negotiating deals. Uh, these are these are the options that are available, um, and and if you go the manager or matchmaker route, you can much more quickly be working with some of the top people in the industry because everyone works together with their fighters and 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 shows. So um, it won't take long for you to be working with some of the people that you see on TV, most likely, if you if that's the direction that you go. And the whole reason we started, or Roy started Fight Promoter University over 10 years ago was to mentor and educate students trying to break into the sports business. There's been such a gap. You know, I feel like everyone as a kid, anyone who loves sports or played sports as a kid, always dreamed of being like a sports agent, especially after, you know, Jerry Maguire and, and some of these shows on HBO came out. Everyone, it's a, such a glorified job. But the reality um, is that sometimes it's a little bit hard to access and that's why the fight game is there for you to live out this dream as a sports agent uh, and, and, and jump in feet first and, and get started. It doesn't take much and we can go over all about how to do that. And what makes, again, this industry so unique is that, you know, in the NFL and the NBA, they've been around for a good while and obviously they generate uh, billions of dollars. They have been consolidated significantly over the years to the point where 
the only way that you could ever work with the NFL is to be a player, of course. But uh, on the business side, you need to have a law degree. You need to probably know somebody within the NFL office to ever have a shot to work there. You, If you want to go the sports agent route, your only option is to, again, have a law degree, but join up with one of the, you know, uh, large, large agencies of the world, the the, um, you know, that have been consolidated over time, the William Morris endeavors, etc. It's just, it's a, it's kind of like a good old boys club now, and it's, it's almost impossible to break in. And whereas the fight game and, and other, other sports like that are, are just much easier. You know, some of the top, top fighters in the world, Conor McGregor, he has, his manager is a small, well, he's not small time anymore, but was a small time manager that just had a couple guys in his, uh in in his company and that he that he looked out for and boom one of them makes it big and now look at him um so and this happens all over the industry all the time um there's small niche promoters that uh, aren't ever on the big pay-per-view cards or are doing anything like that but they're putting on shows in their town that generate a quarter million dollars and up a year um significant money and more if they if you know if they have a guy that they sign and, and progress with so uh lots and lots and lots of opportunity and, and that's why that's one of the reasons i chose the fight game uh not just because i'm a fan but but because it's good business it's good opportunity so the fight industry more specifically the boxing mma business is is just a, a great place to go um and kind of be able to talk to some of the people in the industry and um and, and learn from them and that's why fight from university was started um it can be really lucrative like i said um and while it can be attractive it's also difficult if you go into it without the proper knowledge of how the industry works or best strategies for how to make money in it, not just be seen in the industry. You don't want to just go and just say, oh, I'm in the fight business and put on a jacket and and do it for your ego. Uh, you know, it's this is about making money in this venture um, or else you won't be doing it long. And that was where there was such a large knowledge gap when Roy started this whole thing and over 10 years ago and um so now what he used to have to do is everyone would fly out to la to learn from him and and it you know obviously the costs were prohibitive the time it was a three-day seminar and, and it was a lot to ask for people so that's why he decided to put the whole thing online and brought in additional guests which you'll see in the course and uh, to help teach their aspect, whether it's, you know, the legal side or um, public relations, how to maximize revenue from a marketing standpoint, uh, building the website, all this, all this has gone over, but it's just a lot. He can shove a lot more content in and you can work at your own pace on demand and always reference back to it. That's the beautiful thing. Um, and you should see once you get in this course it's it's beautiful so you can literally there's a fighter management signing meeting where you see what it's like to sit down and negotiate with a team uh, with a fighter and his team who are you know grilling you about what you know their expectations are and um and so we bridge the gap between being a fan and being a business owner in this course uh, Roy has brought on Steven Espinoza, who is the current president of Showtime Sports Talk. Uh, we have uh, journalists from the LA Times, the founder of SureDog.com, the founder of FightNews.com, some of the biggest publications in the industry. We have other professional managers and promoters uh, all giving their time to talk about this because the more smart and efficient and good people we have in the industry it's the better for everybody it's the it's the more it's going to grow and that that was that is why we're so happy to be offering this online for everybody and uh just to give you a little bit of background if you don't know about roy um i just want to tell you a little bit about him he's been in the fight business for over 30 years he started a long long time ago and was actually working for the, uh, I believe it was called the Forum at the time, but it was the original Staples Center. And he worked for the LA Lakers, and he's the one who created the idea for the Lakers girls. So you're welcome to you're welcome to anyone who attended uh, since then. But uh, so he started the Lakers girls. Always had an affinity for uh, marketing, and and back then, um, you know, of course, boxing uh, was still really big, and. Um, different generation but boxing was really big and so he started up his own boxing promotion 
right there in uh, Los Angeles area and uh, I've ran it for I want to say 20 years and uh, worked with world champions I mean he was all over the he was he was already a Hall of Famer at that point in his life, and um, he's he's literally an inducted Hall of Fame promoter, and uh, had a great clout in the industry. Everyone loved him, and Oscar De La Hoya came knocking while he was still a fighter, and wanted to purchase his promotion, uh, which Roy then did sell to him, and it be, later became Golden Boy Promotions, which we all know they run the career of. Uh, not just Oscar, uh, but they currently ran the uh, who used to fight, but Canelo Alvarez. Um, they used to represent Daniel Jacobs. I mean, they have they have one of the largest boxing promotion businesses in the industry. And so, uh, and not only that, but Roy, in the first three to five years, he served as the COO of the company to get them running. Um, but Roy, being Roy, he wanted to go back to doing what he did best, which was having his his niche promotions company and then he restarted Roy Engelbeck Promotions and um, still puts on shows to this day. Uh, to this day he's still doing shows monthly. Uh, it actually I think he does them even more often than that but it's a hybrid between boxing and MMA shows and he has then uh, through uh, you know the community he has created and the Fight, uh, Fight Promoter University community has created countless other promoters who do the same thing all over the world. Um, now he, he has branched out and he has made some of the best managers and matchmakers. Uh, his old matchmaker now works for PBC Boxing, which is run by Al Heyman, which you see on Fox and um, all these different networks. So he has he gets called to work at big promotions, big pay-per-views. He'll fly to New York City and help out for a week before you know a big Triple G card. He's, he's in the sport and has been in the sport for 30 plus years, and he is the most knowledgeable knowledgeable uh, and willing participant to uh, you know talk about some of the lessons learned in the industry and how best you can make it a career for yourself and uh, so with that I am going to cut to a short video here and uh, and Roy is going to talk all about what is involved in Fight Promoter University and give you some free training on what are the 10 steps for getting started in the industry. I want to welcome everyone to Fight Promoter University online. My name is Roy Engelbrecht. I'm the founder of FPU and also for the last 30 years, a licensed fight promoter in the state of California. This Fight Promoter University online course is going to change your life. Now, why did I start FPU 10 years ago? You know, we had very successful shows in Southern California and people would come to our shows and see sellout crowds and say, hey, I can do this. Look at 1,200 people. How hard can that be? And there's a good news and bad news thing here. In California, the good news is you can get a promoter's license for $1,000. The bad news is you can get a promoter's license to put on shows for $1,000. Because what that allows you to do, you know, you're gonna own a professional sports franchise. You're gonna do exactly what Jerry Jones with the Cowboys does, Jeannie Buss with the LA Lakers, Stan Kroenke with the LA Rams. They own a pro sports franchise in football and basketball. You're gonna own a sports franchise in the fight business. You're gonna have to do the same thing that they do. They have to sell tickets, they have to sell sponsorships, they have to negotiate leases for their venue. That's exactly what you're gonna learn at this Fight Promoter University online. So you will, if you, after our online course, you look at this and you say, I can do this, you're gonna own a professional sports franchise. So sit back, enjoy, because there's a lot coming your way. We thank you again for being part of our Fight Promoter University online course. My name's Nick Payton. I am a fighter manager, and I was one of Roy's first Fight Promoter University students about 10 years ago. And um, I had always wanted to make sports uh, my career. I, I had tried to find jobs online and, and most of them were sales based or what have you. And, and I really just, you know, I'd watch these events online, whether it be UFC, which became big when I was in college, or boxing, when the Oscar De La Hoyas of the world and, and Floyd Mayweather were, were running the sport. And, 
Um, and I always wanted to find a way to get involved and I, I couldn't find anything. And, and so, and like I had said with Oscar De La Hoya running the sport, I had found out that his, the original owner of his company was in fact this Roy Engelbrecht who I had never heard of before. And um, I found out that he'd been doing shows in, in LA for years and, and he had started up this fight from our university, the first of its kind. And so I went out there and, and was a part of that and, and learned so much about putting on shows. And I thought, oh my God, this is what I want this to be. And uh, this is what I want my career to be. And so uh, shortly thereafter, I ended up putting on my first boxing event in the city of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania at the time. And actually at the time, I was the youngest licensed promoter in the country. And I had a wonderful, wonderful experience in my first event and then did subsequent events in the city of Philadelphia, in Atlantic City, and just fell in love with the sport. I branched out into MMA as well, began training in gyms and just made it, ingrained myself in the environment and made it my career. And fast forward to today, I, I actually ended up falling in love with the manager side as well, which, which Roy also taught uh, from, from both himself and the number of guests that he has in attendance, some of the best people in, in both sports. And so I started up my own sports management company, and now we represent uh, professional boxers, world champions, people in uh, the UFC, in Bellator, uh, prospects, amateurs, you name it. And uh, it is the most rewarding uh, experience of my life. I wake up every day, I love what I do, and uh, it had finally allowed me an avenue to make the sports field a career for myself. And uh, I couldn't be happier. Uh, Roy has made my dreams come true. And um, I just hope for that for everybody else as well. Because if you do follow your dreams and your passion, there is a way to learn what you need to, to turn this into, into your full-time job. And um, uh, I couldn't be more appreciative to Roy and, and, and Fight Promoter University. Maybe about 20 years ago, when I was speaking around the country on being a sports motor, sports entrepreneur, I thought there has to be some principles that if someone is going to follow their dream, there should be 10 principles that people should follow. And it was on a plane when I was speaking in Phoenix, on a plane from Orange County to Phoenix, that I came up with these 10 commandments. Now on the screen you see Roy Engelbrecht's steps of becoming a fight promoter. But they're really 10 commandments of being a sports promoter, a sports entrepreneur. And while they don't relate exactly to the fight promotions business, they are principles that apply to any business that you want to start. And that's it. Step number one. You have to dream. No idea is too crazy. You're gonna do what? You're gonna be a fight promoter? Are you crazy? No, if that's a dream that you've had, you love this sport so much, whether it's boxing, whether it's mixed martial arts, you have to dream that, hey, I can become a fight promoter. I can have my own business. Second one, do not be talked out of it. Lord, this happens all the time. Your mother, you're gonna do what? Your girlfriend, your wife, your brother, your co-workers, A, they don't think you can do it. Don't not be talked out of it. You have a dream, no idea is too crazy, you want to become a fight promoter, do not be talked out of it. Three, you have to believe in your dream. Can you do this? Can you follow your dream of becoming a fight promoter or any other occupation. You have to believe in your dream. Well, you know what? You already are because you've purchased the Fight Promoter University online course. So you believe in your dream and we're going to show you how to fulfill it. Is there a need? Does it fit a niche? Is there a need for a fight series in your town, in your area, in your county? Is there a need? Does it fit a niche? Nobody else is doing it. That's important. Who else is doing it? That's our fifth commandment. If you already have two other people in your community who are putting on fight promotion shows, whether it's boxer, MMA, you know what? This may not be what you want to do. You don't want to do it in your county. Maybe you want to do it 50 miles away where they need it. So that's our fifth commandment. Who else is doing it? Can you do the business better? That's what you need to ask. If those people are doing shows in your community or your county and you've gone to them and they're terrible, 
they start late, it's a terrible venue, and you say to yourself, I can do better than that, then that's a command which you need to look at. Can your idea business be profitable? That's one of the reasons we started Fight Promoter University online. Nobody likes to lose money. Can a fight promotion in your community be profitable? Can your idea, can your dream be profitable? Well, we're going to show you through this online course, through our guest speakers, that it can be profitable for you. Next one, do not get discouraged. You're starting your own business. You've never had, you've never done a fight before. You've taken the Fight Promoter University online course. You've listened to all the guest speakers. You've listened to, watched it several times. Don't get discouraged if it seemed like, wow, can I do this? It seems so overwhelming. We're gonna build a template for you so you can't get discouraged. Next, keep it simple. You know what's great about the fight business? We're really in the rental business. I read Wayne Huizinga's book many years ago. Wayne Huizinga owned Blockbuster Video Waste Management. He believed the best business is the rental business. Don't own a lot of things. That's what's nice about being a fight promoter. You rent everything. You rent the fighters, you rent the venue, you rent the announcer, you rent the referees, you rent, you rent the ring, you rent the ring card girls, you rent, you rent the doctors. At the end of the night, you have very little to take back to your office. You have no spoilage, it's the rental business and that's what you're in. So that's why it's a nice business because it is simple. And the 10th one, believe in the power of prayer. If you're gonna risk a lot of money, if you're gonna risk your retirement, your IRA, your SEP IRA to start this business, Lord, you better believe in the power of prayer. Your first show, you don't want it to rain, you don't want it to snow, you want the sun to be out and 65 degrees. That's why the power of prayer is very, very important. So these are 10 commandments that you should look at Believe and be encouraged by them because that's the first step on your way to be a successful fight promoter. All right, guys. So if you're looking for a way to get into the fight business and start generating income right away, then this is your opportunity. You're here. You're at Fight Promoter University, the one place in the world that you can learn this stuff. And you have special guests, the, the lineup of Roy and Steven Espinoza and, and Jason House and Lance Pugmire. It goes on and on and on. Um, then this is your opportunity to learn from them and the world's largest community of people in the fight business. And start your business. Get it going today. Stop sitting on the sidelines and take the opportunity to jump in and make a business out of this. Make a business out of your passion. That's what, that's what this is all about, right? And so... Uh, this is your opportunity. Uh, nowhere else has anyone shared insider information or tips and tricks. Um, we have uh, forms and tools for download, example contracts. Uh, we make it easy for you because we want you to succeed. The more, the more successful people in this industry, the better for the sport and the better for the business. So what's included in the course? So first of all, you'll have a login and private password and you'll be able to access this on, a, on Windows, on Mac, um, laptops, uh, iPads, mobile phone, etc. So you'll have access to this anytime you want to reference back on demand, lifetime access. And don't just take it from us. Over the decade that Roy has been running FPU, he has had numerous, numerous students find success all over the world and, and get involved in the industry. And he's always been so generous with his time. If you ever have questions once you're a student, you can reach out at any moment. And uh, and we have a large Facebook community that we that we use to to filter in questions as well from the community, giving uh, back and forth feedback. And so, yeah, it's the best place to go. And and if you take it from from all these testimonials that he has from over the years, and. Uh, you just can't go wrong. It's a, it's an ever evolving process, and 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 once you make these connections, then you can start working with people in the industry, and that's the great thing is then you have that special connection where that's kind of where you met, and um, and you both are kind of uh, have the same values, and and it makes doing business that much easier when everyone's on the same page, and so. 
uh, this is your opportunity and, and, and to get involved. And, and I don't want you guys to pass it up. I really, uh, I think it would be great if we see you inside. Um, but of course, you're probably gonna have the question, what else is included? A and what am I getting for this? And, and um, specifically, what are my next steps? Uh, well, like I said, 24 seven access, uh, and, and we teach you specifics on how to make an income. This isn't just practical information, it's, it's actionable steps that you can take to start generating your income right away. And, and that's what we try to get you from. Um, the first module is the free training, um, which you just went through, which is uh, the 10 steps to getting started and, and just talking about the opportunity that exists in the fight business. And like I said, you had just seen that free training and that's what we wanna provide you up front, just so you can see um, the value of some of the content. Um, obviously the next ones that we keep in the course are, um, uh, are, are much more involved with downloadable content, et cetera, but we wanted to give you a feel. Um, module two is we're going into the fight promoter training, the core course, the original um, uh, core course that Roy started FPU with. Um, his, it's, it's packed full of content. Like I said, we've got dozens and dozens of special guests and um, speakers and, and we put, uh, we have uh, so much information to give you guys in here. And um, this is, if you're looking to put on shows in your, or in your city, your town, then uh, I would highly, highly, highly recommend uh, you dive into this course and, and you're gonna be able to have your license and be booking, uh, booking shows and, and matching up fighters within 30 days. Um, then we go into module three, which is actually we have recorded a previous live seminar where Roy put on the original fight promoter training. Um, and we have that whole thing recorded live for you uh, with even more special guests that were there at that time. And, um, and it just is another perspective that you're going to have on what it takes to make it big, make good revenue in this industry. Module four. Now, for those of you, I think it's important if you're going to get into the business to learn all three aspects that are taught in the course. So there's the promoter, the manager, and the matchmaker training. And because we also talk about how, if you're a manager, how to work with promoters, etc. So you see how there's a lot of crossover there. But module four focuses on the fighter manager training, and that's how to um, sign a fighter, how to grow them, how to make them a household name or, or a local a big, a big name in their local community and um, start guiding their career almost like their sports agent. And we go into um, how to sign your first fighter, how where to scout them, what to look for, what to offer, how to present yourself, etc. So a um, lot chock full of information. This one we have, a, I think I'd mentioned earlier, but we have a, a live fighter sit down meeting where the fighters there's two fighters trying to be signed with their teams and the manager sits down uh, and and negotiates and and you you sit you get to sit ringside essentially and watch that take place which is great because then you'll you'll learn how to handle meetings um, that you put together and then module five is the matchmaker training every promoter uh, treats their matchmaker or needs a matchmaker that is um, knowledgeable, quick, can get the job done, um, a good negotiator, and we teach you how to do that, how to be, how to essentially create your own booking agency, and then you can contract out to several different promoters. That's both high-end promoters. I mean, there's the UFC and Bob Arum and Golden Boy, they are looking for fights all the time, and, so, and they're willing to pay a booking agent or a matchmaker to come in and, 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 uh, and match that for them and then you get a fee on that so there's a lot of opportunity here and we go over that as well um, in addition we also have a fight community facebook group which is uh it's our mastermind group it allows you to go in ask questions you can message us directly uh so it's it's just another we want to be as accessible as possible to everybody and so we keep that open um, but we also have even additional content. In addition to the 24-hour 
access to the full suite of courses and the the mastermind group and and access via email and and, and facebook message and everything um, we also have the elite industry guest speakers that I was talking about. We have Steven Espinoza, the president of Showtime Sports, Lance Pugmire, previously with the LA Times, but now the lead fight writer for uh, The Athletic. And uh, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. We have world champion matchmakers. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's chock full of industry experts. And then in addition to that, uh, we are regularly doing live streams and video updates to not only the course, but some free content that we put out as well. And then allow you guys to ask real time questions. If you log into the live streams and gain insider industry knowledge, we have the camera. Sometimes we'll follow Roy around as he's getting ready for a big event before the crowd shows up and, uh, that'll be on live stream and you can actually talk to him and, and, um, and he can, you can see how he's working the room, uh, at the time. And it's, it's great to see uh, and bonus three is, like I had mentioned, the sample proposals and contracts and tools for download so you don't have to start everything from scratch. And uh, that's so not only are you being, being given the knowledge up front before you get started so that you minimize any mistakes and maximize the, the revenue potential, but you also don't have to create the entire business from scratch. Um, and you can reference documents that you know have been used in a real life setting. Um, so let's recap everything that's included. We talked about a lot of things, so I just want to put it all on one, uh, on one sheet here. So we have the fight promoter course, which we originally were selling for 1997. We have the med, the new remastered, uh, fight promoter course and the old all used to cost $2,000. Now, uh, fighter manager course, uh, originally a thousand dollars, the matchmaker course originally a thousand dollars. So you see, um, but overall this, the, between the downloadable tools and the community and the live streams and, and the various courses we're offering and, and access, we could sell this for over $5,000. And in the past, Roy has consulted um, for values much greater than that. But now he's putting everything online. And so you don't have to fly out anywhere on demand, putting everything online for you for $9.49. I mean, that's, that's an insane from f over $5,000 in, over in overall value to $9.49, one-time payment. So uh, you saw everything that's included here. Um, I don't have to go through it anymore. I think you guys, uh, you wouldn't be here if you weren't excited about making this a career for yourself. And you already know that this is the place to learn that if you're serious. And we're just excited, man. We, we have a great time and, and we want more people like you in the industry. So, so don't hesitate any longer. Sign up now. Follow the link on the right-hand side. Sign up right now and we'll see you in there. Make sure to say hi.